So So YouTube asks, Dear Blocko, what if all the satellites exploded? Could we live without them? Whoa, I cannot imagine something like that happening here. I mean, look, it's so peaceful out there under the blocky stars. Oh, that can't be good. In 1978, NASA scientists Donald Kessler and Burton Cor Pellet published a paper predicting collisions between known objects orbiting Earth, like satellites. They explain that as these objects collide, they break apart and create debris. As more debris forms and more spacecraft are launched, the chance of collisions rises. Eventually, the debris could compromise future missions. This is known as the Kessler Syndrome. Some scientists believe it's already begun, though it's expected to unfold over several decades. As space becomes congested, launching rockets or keeping satellites in orbit becomes tricky and expensive. To avoid debris, they must constantly change course, requiring extra fuel or stronger materials. If it becomes too difficult, you know, what with all that space garbage, scientists might have to stop launching spacecrafts altogether, or at least be really, 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 really concerned about it. That would have a huge impact, not only on space, space exploration, but life on Earth. Dramatic? Yes. But we can learn something here. You may not realize it, but satellites play a big role in daily life. Some carry cameras that photograph the planet. These images help farmers grow better crops, track ground shifts for safer roads and bridges, and monitor weather and disasters. Without them, food supplies and infrastructure would suffer, and predicting storms would become harder and riskier. Satellites are also vital for transportation. When was the last time you read a paper map? GNSS tracks planes, trains, and ships, helping them avoid collisions and reach destinations safely. Without satellites, they'd rely on less advanced systems and might have to halt operations until a better option appeared. Planes and ships also use satellites for communication and real-time weather updates, but they aren't the only ones. People in remote regions depend on satellite phones and the internet. Industries like energy and utilities also work in isolated areas, such as offshore oil and gas rigs. They are going to need satellites too. Right now, over 9,000 active satellites orbit Earth, sending and receiving essential information worldwide. Luckily, many scientists are working to ensure they keep doing their jobs. That's keeping you safe here if you didn't catch all of the really important things that satellites do. So, do you have any questions for me? Leave it in the comment section below and your question could become a future video. Want to watch even more Life Noggin? Click here to watch this video or here to watch this video YouTube thinks you'll like. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.